Now to a crime alert. Two teens gunned down overnight in southwest Memphis. One was able to make it to the front yard of a neighbor's home. WRAG's Jarita Patterson talked to that neighbor who says something must be done before more violence spills into the streets. There was an overcast Thursday where hours before police were investigating an overnight shooting near Rochester Road, not far from West Horn Lake Road. I heard some movement out there, but I, I, you know, the ambulance was gone. You know what I'm it was just about over by the time I found out anything. What Mr. Earl found out was gun violence that eventually landed two teens in the hospital. First landed in his front lawn around 9 p.m. Wednesday. Yeah, it's a bit. It'll make you think about it, you know, you know, maybe it's time to move on or something, but, you know, I'm, you know. What he cannot shrug off is knowing more young people were impacted by more violence. Police say a 19 year old was found bleeding just a few feet from Mr. Earl's front door. The teen was shot in the chest, stomach and groin areas. Before being rushed to the hospital, the victim told police he was attacked while at this corner store a few yards from the yard where he collapsed. Detectives were able to find a blood trail connecting the two scenes. You know, it's the hood, sure, but uh, it's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot going on. I, I, I've been here about seven years and I ain't had no real problem. But he's absolutely desperate for a solution. In fact, he tells us he doesn't know which way to go, feeling like he's sort of at a crossroads on how to rid his community of crime once and for all. Especially after learning an 18 year old also shot and critically injured was taken to another hospital by private vehicle. Before more violence spills into the streets, Mr. Earl says one thing's for sure. They got to put them guns down and how it's going to get done, I don't know. In Southwest Memphis, Street of Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. And at last check, no arrests were made, although two juveniles were detained for questioning. If you know anything that could help police, call Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH.